There was a person at a show that had that painted their horse's hooves black with like paint. Yeah, and I then saw. they put glitter on their horse's Ooh, hooves. Ooh, let's do it. And it's the same kind of like confetti-ish glitter that we have. Well, it's not like glitter, it's like let's do it. Good morning guys. I, I got this cool super cool thing. You guys are as excited to see them wait, in the morning wait, wait, as wait, I am. Good morning guys. Welcome to today. Today is all about Miracles and dreams are coming true. My new gloves. Gabby, um, yeah, so if you guys can't tell, I got my riding hair on. It, the weather broke. It is like freezing outside. We are all going riding together. My horse is in heat, like dripping in heat, like, yeah. Disgustingly in heat, and I'm gonna ride her. I checked to make sure that was okay. She wasn't gonna kill me, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna she's ride like, her. So when like, I say yeah. I'm gonna ride her, I'm like, Gabby's gonna ride her first, and then I'm gonna ride her. But I see dark clouds coming over. We better get out there. Okay, so today's video is all about me. Miracles, kind of. I don't, yeah, and Sophie. Sophie, you're a miracle. Have you ever in your entire life. You're alive, you're a miracle. If you are alive, you're a miracle. And every single one of you guys is a miracle. Even if you're in a place in your life where you don't feel valued, keep going and find the people that do value you because you have value. I, I'm amazed by the people that I have met in my life that are incredible, like obviously incredible with skills that you can't even imagine and they don't feel valued. But yeah, value yourself. That's where it's got to start. Okay, now stop getting me off topic. Okay, so um, all of my life, have you ever known something or felt something or felt like you've done something that you've never done before like when i was 10 my parents got an organ and i started playing it i was the only one in the whole family that played it and i was learning how to play this little song it had a little book i just followed the thing i always i loved that little organ and then they got rid of it because nobody else played it blah 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 but as i was growing up i always felt like I knew how to play the piano and I've never played the piano and I've always kind of wanted to play the piano but when I type and this is why I have so many errors um typos you guys notice when I type things I just type a mess it's because when I type I type really quickly and I have this weird thing that happens with my hands. She doesn't even look at the keyboard. I don't look at anything. I just like, my hands have a life, my fingers have a life of their own and and lots of times when I'm typing I yearn physically not emotionally but physically my hands act like they have played the piano so often they they want to do it it's like this memory in my hands I don't know how to explain it it's the weirdest thing it's like I have always felt like I have played the piano before a lot and I have not emotionally wanted to do it but physically it's just weird it's like you know how when you go for a run and your body craves it and then like you can't stop going for runs because your body needs that release it's like the same with my hands it's like when i start typing i get so exaggerated in my typing and i'm like typing and banging and it's just the weirdest thing but anyway moving on yesterday i got an electric piano what do you guys think like when I believe that when things are meant to happen, they just happen easily. And then this thing just walked right into my life yesterday. So it's not an electric keyboard. Um, it's an electric piano. It has like the piano keys. See how an electric keyboard would have more of a bass here. It would come up and it'd be like a keyboard, but this is like piano keys. Yesterday I got it and I started playing it. Holy cow, I am learning it so fast. Like I can play this song. Here, give it to me. And I can read notes. Same. Like, yeah, and Gabby too. Like everything I do, she has to do better. <laughs> anyway, so I printed out this song. I can play the first two lines of this song and I can read the notes. I can read E, F, G, E, A, or C, D, E, F, G. I can play all those notes. I know where they are. I can read them on this thing. I, I've never read music in my whole entire life. Like it, it's incredible. It's incredible. I never want to stop playing. I know that happens when you first get something, but I'm obsessed with it. Like, it just feels, I, I just feel like I, my lack of knowledge is holding me back. Like, I just want to be able to play, and yeah, it's, it's going to be a huge stress reliever, I can already tell. Like, it's amazing. But anyway, that's my piano story. Sophie, is there anything in life that you have felt like you've done before that you've never done? Or someplace you've been? Um, 
In movies a lot, I uh, like remember people's voice. Like, I think. You know them? That's amazing! Because you've seen them from other movies or heard their voice. Oh yeah, that could be true. <laughs> Gabby, is there anything in life that you have felt like you have done before? Or a place you've been before? I know how to play the piano, self-taught, surprisingly. I feel like I've been to Scotland before. I do. Like, I don't know, like sometimes just seeing people from there or hearing the music and I just start crying and I feel it in my soul. I feel like in my soul that that's a huge part of who I am and where I've been and I've never been there. But yeah, it's just weird. It's just a weird phenomenon. Comment below and tell me, is there something that you've ever wanted to do or felt like you've done before even though you've never done it? A place that you have never gone but you feel like you've lived there before? Comment below. Crazy. Yeah. I'm yeah. most excited to go down there and clean Ruby. my mare Come and get her all Come beautiful and ready Come to go me. and just be like calm on her. It's just crazy. Are you excited, Sophie? Yeah, please, really. oh. I love that my girls spend so much of their money on treats for our horses. Like, I love that. They could buy stuff for themselves, but they buy treats for their horses. The people are here cleaning up the loft still. They came back today. You should have got it, me going into the barn stuff. How did you guys beat me? Didn't have one in the field of storm anymore. He's bitten to death. He's bitten to death? Yeah. Oh, storm. Like full heat, full crazy messy heat. Look. Ew, Stella. Apparently Finn has been I bitten. To the butt. Yeah, he always gives us the butt. Hi. Finn, move your butt. Where are the bites? Okay, close the door. Come in, close the door. He does not deserve them. Yeah, he does. Oh, because he bites Willow? Alright, let me see. Hey handsome, you're okay. The horses get really unnerved when there's noises in the barn. Oh my goodness. You got the same as me. I don't know if we can ride with that. We must hurt him. I mean, like, this one looks a little swelled. Yeah, Stella's is swelled too. Storm's been on a rampage. Look at that. That's how big Storm's butt mouth is. Oh, another butt. One of the best things that we ever bought was this. It is a leather hole punch, and literally we punch things every single day. So today I'm gonna to punch another hole in my belt, which is exciting. Someone sent me this belt, and it is a horseshoe, or is it a spur? The spur. What? I let Finn choose what lipstick I use today on him, and he chose red. So right. I'm gonna use black on Stella. You're using black on Stella. Stella's my horse. She's my horse. girls are in heat that's just great but anyway today Stella is riding in a different saddle um I I don't know we tried to figure it out ourselves and it's definitely not tight in any way this saddle uh, tends to fit all horses you know when you buy an expensive saddle and you can kind of use it on any horse like Gabby saddle over there I don't know if it's correct <laughs> I'm hoping it's correct. <laughs> I'm 100% gonna get Gabby on her before I get on her. Ah. All right, so Gabby's trying out the saddle. This is way too far back. 
All right, jump down and we'll fix it. So we haven't cut the grass in the arena because it was so dry that we were worried if we cut it, all the grass would die and we didn't want that to happen. So we left it kind of long. Sam will cut it if it rains today. Sam will cut it too. Sylvie's only riding or playing with Finn today and, and doing a little bit of running around with him because he's got fresh cuts on him that we don't want to put a saddle on. That's what happens. Yeah, like, yeah, like, and he's a funny horse. He gets stressed out if anything is off. So he's not gonna want to ride if he has cuts. But this girl, <laughs> he's feeling good. Right. Confidence is such a huge thing. Like every single time I get on a horse, it affects me. Every single time my heart rate gets racing and I get nervous and sometimes I'm like Sophie and I'm like, I'm getting off, I'm getting off. And then I'm like, I'm not getting off. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, it's something that you just have to deal with. And some people have to deal with it every single time. And some people never have to deal with it. But everybody has dealt with it at one point or another. Did you just turn the camera to me? Yeah, because you never, you want me to lift you up? Oh, good Lord. Oh, she's good. All she's right. one of those horses that have a good stable back for ground mounting. Yeah. She won't if you keep ground mounting though. But anyway, so we're trying a new saddle because I got a lot of messages from people. A lot of pressure to change her saddle. So we did. Oh, I'm excited. You're very lazy, she's very lazy. I like lazy, I don't like that tossing of the head though. She moves her head like this because her feet go out like that. All right. I'm ready then. I feel like she looks feistier than normal. You think she's just you think she's just listening better? Sophie's gonna Gabby's gonna be a Gabby would make such a good coach one day. She knows all the right things to say to bring up confidence. I love her long, sleek neck. She has new the farrier was just here on Friday. I like the way she moves. Up and out, her feet. All right, am I going to ride now? She's fun. <laughs> I know. Kathy said she's fun. <laughs> you, hear, you hear Sam? Let your mom ride her now. Let your mom have a turn. Sophie with Finn. Kevin and Storm and Laura with Stella. They're all riding in the arena today. Cause it is a nice, cool morning. It's gonna rain, so I gotta ride before it rains. Even when my teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine There is and none of it has helped Experience has made me realize That I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive, it only hurts I'm so tired of
nice towel. We always have like all of our pets with us. It's so funny though that you never have time to ride. It takes so long to groom, so long to tack up, and then you have to undo the whole thing. And, but once you make the time and you're out here and you're riding, it feels like the whole world stops for you. Like it's amazing, like it is so worth it. All right, so Gabby just got mad at Storm and said, I know what your head means when it goes down. You better stop it. So Fiona told us that, oh, see. Fiona told us that we should have stopped that as soon as it started instead of letting him do it all the time. And so that's what we're trying to do now. Oh now, <laughs> the minute she gets him in trouble, he's like, let's go. Oh, I missed no, it. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam put the pole up and then Storm knocked it down and he was just walking away and Stella knocked it down and then he got mad at Sophie and Sophie's like, well listen, it wasn't me. I touch it. I know how to prevent bucking. Good. Squeeze and pull rain up. Squeeze and pull rain up. Don't know if that's correct, but... So yeah, the reason that he's probably bucking is because she's let him get away with it for so long. Okay, so Laura's going to put these blocks instead. And if they're touching it now, it's still going to move. There's going to be no difference. All right, here's the test. So he's going to trot over it. I love that as a family, we play musical horses and we all work with each other's horses, okay. I mean, by and by that, I mean that Gabby helps us with our horses. Every drops start to dry And even when the sun begins to shine again I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired of love songs Sick and tired of love songs I'm so tired believe that you should never have a horse unless you know everything about horses unless your skill level is at a certain level like they think Gabby would be at a right level to buy a horse there's so many other things that are important when owning a horse and some journeys are really slow and I think that that's okay I think that you don't have to be a certain way before you do something you can you can do things differently I love that girl so much. Like, you guys, do you remember when she used to canter? She looks so different. She looks calm. She looks like, she looks like she's not running to run away. She looks like she's not scared. She just looks like she's moving, cantering in a nice, calm manner. Oh. I love Abby training her. So Gabby won't canter her if she canters crazy. I want her to go that fast with me, not the canter, but I want to go fast on her. This is what it looks like when you have a horse dog. A dog that dreams about being a horse.
And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.